Right friends, welcome back to questions and answers, general and banking. This is the 35th week from 24th August to 30th August. Let us look at the first question. Center notified the setting up of NMET. NMET stands for National Mineral Exploration Trust. NMET is National Mineral Exploration Trust and with regard to the details, we will discuss in some other class in the lecture part. Look at the next one. Name the company which launched Wi-Fi router named OnHub. This Wi-Fi router OnHub was launched by Google and the main features of this is it will scan the airwaves to spot the fastest connection. It will scan the airwaves to spot the fastest connection. The second thing is the devices can be prioritized. The devices which are accessing the internet through this Wi-Fi router can be prioritized. Right? Look into the next one, rupees 1 currency notes. Previously, government stopped printing of these currency notes, but recently, Government of India started printing of rupees 1 currency notes and they will be put into circulation shortly and as per the government estimates for printing of rupees 1 note will cost rupees 1.14. For printing of 1 rupee note, government is spending 1 rupee and 14 paise. And the second important point, please don't forget. It bears the signature of a Secretary Ministry of Finance. Rupees 1 note bears the signature of Secretary Ministry of Finance, whereas the Rupees 2 and above bears the signature of Governor Reserve Bank of India. The government is yet to formulate a new exploration licensing policy or NELP for the exploration of various resources. Government is yet to come out with its new policy. This is the 10th edition of a new exploration licensing policy and the parliamentary panel also criticized the government for abnormal delay in the finalization. So, please don't forget NALP stands for new exploration licensing policy, right? The compliance window of declaring undisclosed assets abroad ends on September 30, 2015. All of you are well aware government recently passed Black Money Act. And before implementing Black Money Act, basically Black Money Act looks at the undisclosed assets abroad. If somebody is having undisclosed assets abroad, they will be penalized. And before implementing that act, Government came up with the compliance window that means come clean and you can escape with 30% tax and 30% penalty and the time given to come clean that is the compliance window for disclosing undisclosed assets abroad is up to September 30, 2015. However, tax with penalty can be paid up to 31st December. Indian gold coin as proposed in the budget will be launched on 2nd October 2015. In the budget, three important announcements were made with regard to the gold and one of them is Indian gold coin. And Indian gold coin is going to be released on 2nd October and second point is it will have the emblem of Ashoka Chakra, please don't forget. S&P, Fitch Ratings, Moody's recently lowered India's growth forecast and they are the credit rating agencies based in United States of America. They are New York based. These are the credit rating agencies and leading credit rating agencies in the world. Fitch Ratings, Moody's, Standard and Poor's. So, don't forget the credit rating agencies gives a rating to governments and at the same time to companies 
and credit rating agency is different from credit history related agency like sibil sibil gives credit history and these agencies give credit rating look into the next one smile will be maintained by sidbi smile was recently inaugurated by the finance minister smile is sidbi make in india loan for enterprises sidbi make in india loan for enterprises and government came up with rupees 10000 crore corpus and soft loans will be given to msmes soft loans in the form of quasi equity you may ask what is quasi equity it is not equity it is a loan only but there are several softer terms in the loan and there is a facility for extending repayment period sometimes if required holiday will be given which is known as a moratorium and at the same time interest rate will be very less that is the trait of soft loan so this smile stands for sid be make in india loan for enterprises recently the finance minister launched it with a corpus of rupees 10000 crore and look at the next one the finance minister launched india aspiration fund india aspiration fund is rupees 2000 crore corpus and please don't forget smile as well as india aspiration fund these two will be maintained by sidb please don't forget the cgt msc is also being maintained by sidb so sidb maintains cgt msc smile india aspiration fund you should not forget these things and india aspiration fund is basically for giving venture capital for startups venture capital for startups that means funding for the new companies or startup companies right so here the corpus is rupees 2000 crore the corpus for smile is rupees 10000 crore the corpus for india aspiration fund is rupees 2000 crore and the purpose of smile is giving soft loans to msmes the purpose of india aspiration fund is venture capital to the startup companies please differentiate between these two uae india infrastructure investment fund is worth 75 billion dollars when our prime minister visited united arab emirates it was decided that uae india infrastructure investment fund will be created with 75 billion dollars of rupees government says that there is a consensus with the rbi on the formation of mpc mpc is monetary policy committee and pdma pdma is public debt management agency at present public debt is maintained by reserve bank of india in the monetary policy also reserve bank governor has got final say now government wants to do some modifications so modifications to monetary policy committee as well as public debt management agency requires amendments to reserve bank of india act 1934 please don't forget the answer here is reserve bank of india act 1934 institutional trading platform is meant for startup companies recently sebi devised guidelines that separate trading platform will be created for technology related startups that is institutional trading platform please don't forget concluding ceremony of the 3 day international buddhist conclave was held at bodh gaya delegates from 47 countries participated which include former president of sri lanka chandrika kumaratunge and in this connection the prime minister stated that bodh gaya will be developed as spiritual capital Look at the next question. Mohan Likatov visited India recently. He is the president elect of United Nations General Assembly. United Nations General Assembly 70th session is going to start shortly. 
and uh, Mr. Mogens uh, Liketoft from Denmark will take over as the President of uh, United Nations General Assembly. Veteran writer M. M. Kalbergi was uh, shot dead recently. He belongs to Karnataka. He was uh, shot dead in Dharwad. He belongs to Karnataka. He is a rational thinker and writer and in India, concern was expressed from several quarters because of the killing of several rational thinkers like Narendra Dabholkar in Pune in the year 2013, Govind Pansara in Kolhapur in Maharashtra recently and M. M. Kalbergi now in Karnataka's Dharwat. Look into the next one, Conference of Parties or COP21 is going to be held in Paris. All of you are well aware this is going to be held from November 30 this year, touted to be one of the important climate change conferences and this is convened by United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change here F stands for framework, please don't forget. NPCI mobile banking platform is based on USSD. NPCI's mobile banking platform is based on USSD. USSD stands for unstructured supplementary service data and now NPCI is trying to develop some other platform so as to increase the penetration of mobile banking services in the country because the country has got around 90 crore mobile phones. Rana Kapoor was a reappointed MD and CEO of S Bank for a period of three years. Rana Kapoor was reappointed as MD and CEO of S Bank for a period of three years. And please don't forget the retirement age is 70 years. Name the bank which launched country's first mortgage guarantee backed home loan. This is very important. ICICI Bank is the bank which launched the country's first mortgage guarantee backed home loans. All of you are well aware about home loans, but what is this mortgage guarantee? That means with the help of mortgage guarantee, this mortgage guarantee is given for the first time by India Mortgage Guarantee Corporation. That means with the support of India Mortgage Guarantee Corporation, the down payment can be reduced and part of the risk by the bank will be transferred to India Mortgage Guarantee Corporation. This is for the first time in our country in home loans, this type of loan that is the mortgage guarantee backed loan was launched in our country. The bank is ICICA Bank, please don't forget. The maximum limit under Mudra card is rupees 10 lakhs. All of you are well aware about the three schemes, Shishu, Tarun, Kishore and the maximum limit is rupees 10 lakhs. We discussed about these things several times previously also. All of you are well aware about 98 smart cities. Out of the 98 smart cities selected under the smart cities mission, Olgaret city is in Pandicherry or Puducherry and Pasighat is in Arunachal Pradesh. I listed out 3-4 towns where some of you may not know these cities and states. Out of 98 smart cities, you see this Olgaret is in Puducherry, Pasighat is in Arunachal Pradesh, Namchi is in Sikkim, Dharamshala is in Himachal Pradesh, please don't forget. Smart cities submission will be piloted by the Ministry of Urban Development, please don't forget. Agitation is going on at FTII against the appointment of Gajendra Chauhan as its chairman. FTII is located in Pune, please don't forget, it was initially established as Film Institution of India in the year 1960 and it is registered under Societies Act and it was started functioning from the erstwhile Prabhat Studio premises, please don't forget. Film and Television Institute of India, FTIA means, right? 
Name the state where patidars resorted to agitation demanding reservation in government jobs. Nowadays, Hardik Patel became quite famous. Patidars are Patels. They started agitation recently demanding OBC status. Right? On August 1, site, site is a satellite instructional television experiment. This site is a satellite instructional television experiment. This completed 40 years by use of site. Television programs in remote areas were beamed in the year 1975. In the year 1975, with the usage of satellite instructional television experiment, television programs were beamed in rural areas and this site belongs to United States of America. Lesbos, Chios, Samos, Kos, these are the islands which belong to Greece. Lot of migration is taking place from Syria to Greece and several people are entering these islands by crossing Turkey. These islands are very close to Turkey. People are reaching these islands in boats. And please don't forget, these are the islands pertaining to country Greece. Indian women's hockey team has qualified for participation in Rio de Janeiro Olympics after a gap of 36 years. They participated in 1980 Moscow Olympics. Ashwini Lohani was appointed the CMD of Air India. He belongs to Indian Railways and he was recently appointed as the CMD of Air India. We observe National Sports Day on 29th August. This is the birth anniversary of legendary hockey player John Chand. Instrumental in getting gold medals in 1928 Olympics at Amsterdam, 1932 Olympics at Los Angeles, 1936 Olympics at Berlin. John Chand, the legendary hockey player, born in Allahabad. But most of the time he spent in Jhansi and to commemorate his birth anniversary, India celebrates National Sports Day on 29th August and please don't forget his statue is situated on Sipri Hill in Jhansi. Please look into this picture. This is Sipri Hill and the statue of John Chand with the hockey stick. Sanya Mirza became the second tennis player to get Rajiv Khel Ratna Award. The first one to get the award was Leander Pace. Rajiv Khel Ratna Award carries seven and a half lakh rupees. Another is Arjuna Award which carries five lakh rupees prize money. And for the coaches, it is Dronacharya Award. It also carries five lakh rupees. So, the topmost medal in sports is Rajiv Khel Ratna Award started in the year 91-92 and previously Leander Pace got it and now Sania Mirza became the second tennis player. Right friends, have a nice day. Let us conclude here. Right. Thank you.